This is a band that I know because I know Jimmy Barnes and his amazing ah. voice, but actually I think the lead singer on this song is Ian Moss, who actually wrote this song, who is normally the guitarist on this, and I'm interested to hear both their voices in this song. If you're interested to hear what I sound like, I have just released a song on Spotify. It is a cover of Wicked Game by Chris Isaac, and it's on Spotify, it's on YouTube, and I'll put all the links down in the description, so please do check it out. That sounds like Jim Burns to me. So maybe it's like... Okay, before we get into this, this is a song about um, a sheep station in the Northern Territory where um, Ian Moss's brother worked for a while. So it's this kind of desire to escape from city life and go back to the country, which is something, you know, I definitely understand. Um, you know, I'm living in the city right now and I'm a country girl at heart and when you miss the forest, you miss the forest. <laughs> Listen out to the wind, babe. And listen out to the rain. Nice. You know I feel that water licking up my feet again. And I don't want to see this town no more. Yeah. Wasting my days on a factory floor. First thing you know, I'll be back in Ball River. What? The first thing you know, I will be back in Ball River. The what? first thing you know, I'll be back in Ball River. Okay, I love Jimmy, but what? This is sick. His voice is incredible. Uh, it's so smooth and soulful. Oh, I didn't expect it to be this good. You know, because you've got, um, obviously, Jimmy Barnes with his kind of raspy, bluesy sort of sound, but his is so smooth and um, oh, it's, it's bluesy in its own way. I... I love how he's able to move from that smoothness and here it's almost like rock and roll, you know? And I wasn't expecting it. It's like, why? Why? When this guy is such a good singer, why isn't he the lead singer? I, I don't think Jimmy Barnes should be. It's just like, we're spoiled. I think that's what I feel like. I think, I think we're spoiled. <laughs> and then you get these cool harmonies. And I love this harmonica! Woo!
I love the harmonica because it gives you this kind of hint of the countryside sitting there playing your harmonica and this like drive to just want to go somewhere and be somewhere different. It's interesting because this was a, a B-side record. This wasn't meant to be like a big record but it became so popular that it kind of became played a lot in its own right and uh, has become one of their more famous songs. It's funny how that sometimes happens. A song that just is written often for an emotional reason for the singer um just it needed to be born right it needed to be born for people to listen to and people wanted to listen to it to see these two different approaches I feel like Ian Moss is he's so soulful there's a sweetness to his tone and it is really controlled in many ways and um, whereas Jimmy just lets rip um, but you get these two kind of contrast ding vocals that then blend really really beautifully and have this kind of energy behind them <laughs> I'll, I'll listen through to the end but yeah it's like Ian Moss supports it and then Jimmy like throws it out you know What a great song and what a treat to hear Ian Moss's voice. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.